Okay, uh, let's identify the major parts and the accessories of this dead weight instrument. Uh, here is the hand pump which drive the screw pump inside and uh, cylinder is the low pressure and the red one indicates the high pressure all right so there are two valves uh, one is tagged as b one is a and this is the oil reservoir and uh, we can see that it is being labeled as r then later on we will discuss this stuff with a uh, given diagram as well as the instruction okay so here um, the connection uh, for our uh, instrument under test so in this case we are using the uh, pressure gauge all right bar you can see here that the unit of bar and the other one is for the uh, key KJ per cm squared. Yeah. So depending on what what is the unit of your uh, instrument under test. All right. So by the way, um, this is weight carrier or uh, weight overhang, which has its own weight that affects the system pressure. So if we apply a little pressure, we can observe that the weight carrier will float a little, all right? At the same time, it will uh, indicate the pressure here in the pressure gauge. We'll apply a little pressure. So observe the weight carrier and the pressure gauge. So the, the pressure gauge slowly indicates a light pressure. So the pressure gauge is range 0 to 16 bar. Okay. Now, the light carrier is slowly floating at the low pressure indicator. Yeah. And you can see also the pressure gauge is around 0 0.5 bar or at least almost 0 0.6. Now, what I'm going to emphasize is the, the weight carrier having its own weight yeah so this would you know uh, give mistake on the reading if we will not uh, take the you know the, the weight of the, the, the weight carrier into account of our you know uh, calibration process so in order to compensate this in the weights we can see that there is a small plate here this is very lightweight alone will not generate one bar yeah it will only generate one bar once uh, it is placed here because the weight of this uh, uh, plate plus the weight of the piston or the uh, weight carrier will be equal to one bar okay so, when we are uh, applying a little pressure, so it will, it, we will expect that at one bar, it will uh, float a little. Okay, observe, yeah. So, as you can see, now, big, um, a mistake would uh, comes around when you do not place this uh, makeup weight first and then you place uh, direct the uh, weight that you the desired weight let's say you, um, you want to place a one bar plate this is one bar plate yeah directly put to the weight hangover and you are expecting uh, we will uh, put the zero so you're expecting to read out in the gauge of one bar. Yeah, because you are putting one bar. Yeah. But it's not the case. It would not be one bar. That would be all, uh, more than one bar. So around 1.5. 1.5. 1 
Why 1.5? Because we have uh, checked the, the weight of the, I mean the pressure of the uh, carrier that is around 0.5, yeah? Okay. So, it will displace a little. At the same time, expected 1.5 or at least nearby on that. Ah, see? Now, well, around 1.5 and it's starting floating. Yeah? So, that would uh, make your reading... Actually, this, it's not, it's not, uh, uh, it's not wrong. This is, the, the, this is correct. Because 1 bar plus 0.5 is it's a 1.5. But your expectation is different. You're expecting only 1 bar. So, to uh, correct that, uh, place first in any of the plates you are going to put first you have to place this makeup weight okay now uh, put it properly yeah so this is already one bar and you put another one bar so expected this is two bar yeah okay for low pressure it will have a, a little friction okay so expected to two bar one point five Yeah, two. Okay. Our gauges have a little error. This is only a pointer uh, alignment. Okay. So this is two bar. Why? Because the makeup weight plus the silent uh, weight carrier, one bar plus your uh, weight. Um, if you're going to use the uh, bar plates, unit of bar, so you must have the uh, put first the um, make up weight for the bar. Otherwise, if you're if you want to use the kg kg say centimeter squared, use the make up plate for the uh, kg centimeter squared. Right. So so you wouldn't have an erroneous reading. and the higher pressure. So I am putting uh, multiple plates with a total uh, weight. This is a big plate, it's a five bar. And uh, the two plates here are two bar each. So five plus four, it's nine, plus the default uh, weight of the uh, make up weight plus the uh, carrier weight one so it's a total of 10 okay so when we apply a low pressure we will expect it it become 10 so this is uh, i change the uh, pressure gauge with higher uh, pressure range uh, 0 to 160 bar so uh, 10 here 10 20 30 40 50 so it should be here okay so we'll uh, spin it a little so apply low pressure so we're gonna expect 10 and the weights will start to flow five now so start to float now so as you can see that at this uh, low pressure indicator so it is around 10 so there's a little error in the in the pressure gauge it is a pointer error i think so okay so even at this region you know if 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 we vary this pressure at the region of a low indicator but the pressure is the same so okay so that is so that is our weight is totally floating okay so 10 this is the low pressure now 
we will apply higher pressure since this is 10 and the higher pressures the, the read indicator that is times 10 so 10 times 10 so 0 to 140 bar uh, let the valve be closed okay the valve be closed and the valve a open okay for this range 0 to 140 bar if you apply more than 140 bar so it is like this close a valve and open valve b all right then apply the uh, pressure for throw hand pump okay so since our uh, we're gonna test only 100 bar or even 160 bar that is still below ah yeah if we, if we will uh, uh, get up to 160 we'll have to use this instruction but since we're gonna test only 100 bar so it is below uh, 140 so this instruction number two all right so it is closed and valve a is open all right so apply more uh, a little bit hard Almost 100. So see the. So we're gonna we can now start the red indicator. I'll see. Now it's 100. Yeah. So this is how I uh, will apply high pressure on a low lower rate uh, lower weights. Okay. So you just spin it. Now another. Uh, it's it just. A tip. You just uh, spin it for a while and look for the uh, pressure. Do not touch the hand. I mean the uh, hand pump. Observe whether the pressure is getting down, and uh, and the float indica floating indicator also is reducing or not. If it is reducing and the pressure is getting down, that means there is a leak somewhere. Either it could be our connection or somewhere in the uh, system pipes. So that is uh, how we will check the, the uh, leakage, oil leakage. Yeah. So since this, this pressure is stable and there is no changes in the floating indicator, so that means there is no leak. And why we spin it, okay, why we spin it, it is just to spin just um, uh, we are spinning by hand of the weights so that is to make sure that the weights is free of friction so since uh, we will be observed that the uh, weights is in a free will so there is no friction so we can say that our uh, pressure uh, uh, read out in the pressure gauge is accurate okay so that's it then slowly uh, release the pressure so this spin will stop by itself once uh, it settles on the flange inside okay so this spin will stop by itself once uh, it settles on the flange inside So that's it guys, um, how to uh, doing a calibration using the deed weight tester, alright, thank you.